The shocking surveillance video of the moment Esteban Santiago opened fire at FLL on Friday. Officials say he confessed to this attack and that he never requested a lawyer to be present when he was being questioned by authorities. And right now we are starting with Derek Shore at the airport. Hey, good afternoon. That video is incredible. It is very, very hard to watch. This, as we are hearing from the sheriff of Broward County, about what that suspect said in the moments after the shooting took place. It is terrifying video obtained by TMZ, revealing the moment the Fort Lauderdale Airport shooter begins his deadly rampage. The video showing who is said to be Esteban Santiago grabbing the gun from his waistband and opening fire. Terrified passengers in Terminal 2 baggage claim dropping to the ground. In total, five would be killed, six others wounded. Tonight, it's unclear why the shooter chose Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International. We have no uh, understanding at this time why he chose Fort Lauderdale. Broward County Sheriff Scott well, Israel speaking today on Local 10s right, this but, week in uh, South Florida, in revealing what Santiago told deputies after his arrest. The CIA or some agency had put a chip in his head and they were programming him and they uh, forced him to watch video on ISIS. And then that changed uh, and he said that he was paid a certain amount of money by ISIS uh, an hour or two later. So at, at this point, um, we really don't know. Santiago's family has reported that he had recently been experiencing mental health issues. He remains at the Broward County Jail being held on federal charges that could carry a death sentence. The area where the shooting took place is still blocked off this afternoon as operations get back to normal at the airport. Still two days later, many passengers trying to get home and thousands of pieces of luggage still yet to be reunited with their owners. I just want to go home. That's all. Friday, thousands were sent scrambling, dropping their items as the airport shut down. Scores of people held on the tarmac, others held in planes. And Sheriff Israel says the FBI will be taking custody of that suspect in the next day or so, and then eventually he will see a federal magistrate. Again, he at this point is qualifying for the death penalty. We're live at FLL, Derek Shore, Local 10 News.